Bongo! Well, good evening! Welcome, Skara, and welcome, Trix! Thanks for coming! How are you two today? Hmm? <laughs> I got good news and I got some other news, I suppose. Well, in the beginning of February, I will have my third of four um, projects from university, which is pretty good for me, and. Well, my artists called back to me and. Supposedly, I should have the very first uh, rough draw, the very first draft soon. I hope. Well, we will see how this plays out, right? Oh, Gucci, very well. That's nice. Also, <laughs> oh, concrete scatter. That sounds great. Um. Also, Sagara came in before her last time and gave me the little. Uh, Helped me get the new files for the Twitch toolkit so we can do the Twitch integration on uh, RimWorld again. So I hope this will work out now. At least as I tested it, it connected so it might work. Well, we can hope. By the way, is this your f was this your last course, Skada? Hmm? Because just curious. Don't need to answer if it's too personal. By the way, did you know RimWorld actually didn't call for um, an error message this time? Interestingly. RimWorld? RimWorld. There it is. Games fully on screen. That's good. Wait, where's my PNG? PNG, 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 PNG. There it is. There's my PNG. Okay, game audio, mic, how about some music, random, random, and don't trust stop when you're doing it, okay, okay, alrighty, there we go, there we go, I guess the game actually didn't have any error messages this time, ah, Thank you, Skada. <laughs> well, I need two more, two last projects, then a big project and my thesis, and I'm finished overall, so... Well, it seems I don't have any anymore, luckily, so that is pretty good. So about the mods, Twitch Toolkit, hmm? Yep, yeah, Twitch Toolkit. Everything fulfilled, so it should work this time. Hehe. <laughs> ah, Morocco emotes. Yep. Morocco is awesome. <laughs> add add. Um, there you go. <laughs> I love her emotes. So, we continue our safe game here the Flintstones. The primitive mode where you cannot do any saves coming at all. 
And uh, I forgot what happened last time, but many bad things happened. Ah, yes. Now I remember. I remember. So what happened last time was, we had a colossal oil storage over here, yes? Actually, you know what? I will link the clip of what happened to the storage, okay? Un momento. Videos. Mm. Here you go. Copy link. And. Here it is. Yep. That's what happened. The got connection just die. Um. <laughs> ah. Yeah, Mariko streams uh, like around midnight to morning for me usually, so if you see me in there, I am probably sleepless that night. <laughs> so, yeah. But she's really awesome, and so if you see this little clip, yes? Hmm? I didn't post a clip. Again, okay. There we go. Chinked at Fire Edition. That's the clip. And trust me, what happened was I had three oil storages here with 10,000 liters of, well, crude oil, then a camp fuel tank about ha half rifle, and a crude oil cracker there. And just while I was mentioning that I want to move it all inside to protect it from lightning, lightning stroke one of the oil stroke the canister and blew up everything. Literally. It was basically hell. <laughs> what happened afterwards? Well I managed to save the oil wells I had here. Then Randy sent like 10 elephants my way and continued sending raiders non-stop until, until they managed to get through my final traps as those dudes went, set fire to my oil wells and well, as they detonated the people, let's just say they did a golem and vanished in the fires of hell I managed to save the oil heads at least the oil well heads, without those I would need to rebuild the air them completely from scratch, including drilling them. But yeah. I got a little storage room here or workshop or whatever I will make into this. Here I wanted to make a research room, a dining hall, another in a big industry room, two more bedrooms. Um, what this is gonna become, I completely forgot. I think it was a hospital. So what I could do here is turn it into a into a workshop, or I could add oil storages in here and completely separate them from the rest of the industry. That might be, might actually be a decent idea. So to save my uh, my height, I basically built this stuff in here using my very last components and stripping them from stuff. All for the sake of getting the power supply running again. Actually, I think I can deconstruct some of these. I got full water towers and I need to make sure that these cost components to make, yes? Um, one moment, engine, electric pump, one component, yes? Three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Wind pump, a wooden pump. Oh, it needs steel. Oh, how much steel I have? Well, enough for a few of those, I suppose. Let's add. Get rid of a lot of the electrical ones. You know, uh, getting a little bit of. Settlement. Mm -hmm. 
So if I get rid of this stuff, I can get me new steel again, I suppose. But no. Oh, Omar isn't in a mental breakdown anymore and is fixing the traps before Randy is sending more raids my way. And another thing I noticed is I really need to fix these and replace them with proper walls that actually can take damage and don't burn. Oh, by the way, Omar, can you repair them, please? Before some madman actually destroys the hatches and we got oil flowing out of the ground. Just an idea, just an idea. Uh, that's the power conduit that's gonna get removed, not the wall. I think. Yes, it's the power conduit that gets removed, not the wall. Alrighty. Hmm. Was well, that's about the closed captions? Closed captions? Guess they don't want to work today. All rounds. Pum, 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 pum. Oh well. <laughs> yep, they worked. And I'm really, really low on components to the point I need to scan whatever I can just to get my stuff up and running. I just wonder if the uh, wooden gener wood generator broke down. That would have been awful. And soon I will need someone to run the resource console again. I think. Build? Um. Well, it should work. If someone is using it, that is. Because then the crude oil I got stored will get turned into new chem fuel. With these, uh, I did a little mistake. I built one of those small generators, noticing that it only has a quarter of the output of the big one. While the big one uses only two times as much as many components. You see, instead of those two, I could have one giant generator that would um, properly produce power. Then we wouldn't have any shortages on power right now, at least. So that's something I got to fix. Oh, now the closed captions are working. Mm hmm. Also, Twitch to control. Hmm? Settings? Hey, why is it not connected? Hmm? Now it's connected again. I think it's disconnected when I switch to my phone net. Hmm? Okay, now that it's connected again, I think stuff should happen soon. Well, I hope not bad stuff, too. <laughs> because that would be awful. Also, here we got a few nice bedrooms. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have made some really fancy um, ergonomic bits that use tons of components. Hmm? But who would have known that my entire industry would blow up? But since I get, since the kill box got run through, maybe I should actually expand it in this direction. Hmm? Like over here, back and forth and back and forth. To, to add about two to three times the amount of traps to for people to run into. It might actually be a good, a good idea. What are the tasks for our people even? Hmm? Ah yes, you are the insomniac who is doing plant stuff. And you got only 50% work speed, but for that you only sleep once every day. As long as you don't get non-stop breakdowns, I guess. Underground outdoors and very long outdoors. And my fault you're a plant person. You insist that
Um, are we back? Okay, we are back. Cool. Thanks, Trixie. So what we got here is a little event that hap is appearing now. Basically, we got a little road, and it will be a hazard. Either we will have it get actually cold, it will get even hotter, or we will get a, pl a blight on our crops. So which shall it be? Hmm? Blight or cro blights, heat waves or cold snaps? One, two, or three. <laughs> You can simply vote for something by pressing one, two, or three and chat. That's all you need to do for a vote to heaven. Just so you know, it is fairly hot outdoors, and if it gets even hotter, we might get a problem. <laughs> but okay, it is all right, I suppose. Alma. Oh, and it is a cold snap. Welcome, Purcell. Thank you for coming. Hoo -hoo. A cold snap at my plus 40 degrees outside, so it means it might actually become livable for once. <laughs> Thank you. Here we plant a lot of Devil Strand floor mats because they are actually just pretty. And the wooden generator somehow ran out of fuel al again already. Actually, why don't you people um, go and refill these passive coolers to make the room not too hot from the camp fuel power plants? Just saying that it might help. <laughs> Gara is surprised that Purcell is helping. <laughs> well, I am glad for the little help. Especially with how Randy decided to handle things after blowing up my entire industry over here. Especially the lightning that happened ri literally while I was mentioning that what would happen if lightning stroke it. Oh, right, we have a prisoner. Prisoner, prisoner, prisoner. What kind of prisoner is this? Social person? Animal person? Melee person? Well, you can actually make him get sm the smarts, I suppose. Perfectionist and industrious. Okay. But you cannot construct stuff, you can only do art. Okay. Hmm. They will naturally produce better quality products at the expense of time. However, making a low quality product will upset them. Additionally, they may very rarely quit a project mid-attempt if they don't like the direction it's going in. Incapable of skilled labor. Thank you. It is almost an excellent pawn. Almost. If he could do building and stuff, then he could do excellent stuff or master arts or legendary bits. But like this, he can't do any building at all. Guess he was working at IKEA before, or something like that. Yes, IKEA building, and that's why he cannot do any baits now. Just imagine legendary royal baits, and then someone gets angry and destroys the bait. Should I possibly move the chemfield siphon indoors? Hmm. Just wondering. Outdoors, of course, is good because of the fumes, but I think camp fuel fumes don't exist in RimWorld. <laughs> right. Is this one full? No? Okay. What are you all doing? We got steel to smelt or melt. Oma is building. Ah! Irma is building the backup power supply in case of something or someone destroying the power lines. Thank you for coming, Trixie. Enjoy your lurk. And really, thank you for having come. It means a lot. 
Woohoo! We got. Hey, our traps are all set. Cool. If we now cut the power line connected through the wooden walls, it might be fireproof. Elma has built the. Yeah, these, I suppose. Um. Can you please take care of growing the stuff too? Hmm? Just saying. Harvesting may be important or cutting the wood, but. Yeah. You know. Maybe I should get this all um, into anti plants and then get me some. Um, Plant crates, I suppose. Just saying, then I can get these running proper uh, properly, without any problems, at least. And here I found you are sleepless. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this guy is fully healed, yes? How's your mud? Hmm, slept in the cold? Cold. It's 6 degrees outdoors. And you got 10 degrees inside. It's almost the same as in my room. Don't be such a sissy. <laughs> You can do crafting, yes? 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 No, you can't do crafting. Oh. But you can do art. So I might need an art bench for this guy. Uh, production. Art bench? Art bench. There we go. Oh. I guess a wooden one will do fine. <laughs> eh. Fire! 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 Not fire in my house! <laughs> yeah, that song was pretty good. Hmm? Wanna have it again? Um, I think it was O Fortuna from Emitted, from Globus, Emitted Music. She read it, read it go, hmm? Oh, this one doesn't sound bad either. Hem, 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 hem. O Fortuna. O Destina, Order to Power. Oops. <laughs> so where did it go? Oh, Fortuna. Hmm? Um. Well, I just search for it in the folder, then it might go in right away. Um. Where did it go? Where did it go? Destino? Was it this one? Hmm. Or was the name of Destina? <laughs> oh, Destina, oh, Destina. Um. Oh? Was it this? I think it was this one. That's the song you meant, right, Scudder? Woohoo! Stuff fixing! A tree and fortring to the film. Hmm? I don't know what you mean. Eh. Uh, do I need more? Okay, 
the power the power lines are there. Um these I want gun I suppose. If I fix the stuff over here, all of it. So for the floors I might make some packed dirt behind here just to make sure nothing bad happens. Um yeah, like this. So our camphor storage is getting filled by using the biofuel refinery for now, I suppose. It isn't ideal at all, but hey! Um, Alma, these components need to get indoors right now, okay? Yo, we need uh, these powered. Ideally, at least. get made to run properly, which is good. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Now they should work properly. Sure, they aren't as good as these, but actually, each of those uh, pumps a little bit more water than the other, than the the electric ones. I got six components, and if I get two more, I could get me um, another one of these, but actually I need components. I need 16 components. Oh, and this stuff needs components as well, I think. So, yeah. <coughs> I think we're in a little bit of a problem there. But hey, who's taking care of the guy? Wardening? Um Dolphin. Your call. Otherwise this guy will just run away one day. I know you suck at social stuff, but please, okay? You're the one who's giving people such a good time that you just punched them for a conversation, Dolphin. By the way, Oma and Dolphin will punch each other non-stop all the time. Oh, and I think there was uh, a command, yes? It was like join Q. If you want to become a pawn in the colony, in case you... Hmm? Toolkit for? Toolkit? Why did you disconnect again? Please? Yes, yes, the stream died, the connection died as well. Something like this. Um. Oh, yes, and you. Uh, why this eases? Which disease event should happen? Muscle parasites, gut worms, or malaria? Uh. Guys, I think you need a little injection against the flu. <laughs> um. Ali, what's your sleep schedule? There you go. Now you're on bed as well. So if this guy becomes a pawn, he cannot do, he cannot really do much except, well, basically art, talking to people and brain stuff, I guess. And I can make him into a duck, force him to become a duck so the others can open up tasks. So that shouldn't be too bad, I suppose. Oh hey, all the floor mats are done. Um, hygiene. 
Not faster. Jason, yes? Steel? Come on. You're a bit short on steel. Let's get raw. Let's get stone instead. Marble? Marble? Marble basic. Um, left one. Left and left. I think we used to have a fountain as well somewhere. But it got burned. Even though it was a rock one. Yep, I think somewhere around here. And the malaria one. Oh. Okay. The prisoner caught the malaria. <laughs> At least it's not one of the pawns. Thank you, Randy. For once, Randy didn't give me give all of my pawns an illness at once. These are connected. This one's set as well. And these are running nicely. Which is good too. Hmm. Let me think. If I deconstruct one of these, I get two components back of the four. Right? Right. Um, Bremer fella? Two or eight? Eight. So I would get back four components. Next up, if I got one, two, six components more, it makes ten. I need sixteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not enough. That's not enough at all. Doesn't suppose there doesn't happen to be um, a power supply that doesn't need components. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, this one's a banger. The clothes deteriorated away to nothing. One, two, three. One, two. Mm. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Like this, I can get rid of these, I suppose. No more, hopefully, no more inf uh, infestation risk there. Visitors. Hey, we got visitors. And they even got something to sell. Does that mean they are basically salesmen? Hmm. Salesmen. Here we got the infestation holes plugged up. And here we actually had the intended defense line for tons of gun turrets. That is if we had the... Um, yeah, the components to produce said turrets. But since we don't have them, we got to make do with the spike traps. At least those come from regrowing natural resources that will never be depleted, I suppose. Mechanoid eggs. Uh, away with those before I hatch any xenomorphs or anything, please. Finally, I can get rid of some weapons I got dropped. Um, Heavy SMG. Okay. Some basic clothing. Bad clothing. More clothing. And the spicy stuff he doesn't take. Oh. Anything good you sell? No. No components from you at all? Hmm. Well, I guess I can just. Industrial Exoframe, global work speed plus 10%, move speed plus 1.2. Ooh. You know what? Now it's mine. I can just fill you up with cloth to the point you can't carry it all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> eh. Uh, eh. Uh. 
Hey! Watch this! What was that? I wanted to type a number in. Okay, again. We sell some random stuff. We sell more random stuff. This one's gonna be mine. For hours, I suppose. We keep a few clothes as replacement stuff. Medicine we got a little bit, but let's buy it all too. And now we give you lots of... No. Oh, I forgot the minus. I see. And now I just keep growing the number until you say you cannot hold anymore. <laughs> I just take all your money away giving you my garbage, I suppose. I know I'm being mean, but hey! Who knows, it can save my butt one day. Having that money for something I cannot trade cloth in for. Clickety 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 click clickety click click. Pom 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 Yes, basically that's exactly what you said, Purcell. Exactly that. Oh, Oma is doing this one now. Nice. We are refilling chem fuel rapidly right now, as long as Oma is doing the thing. But hey, who's my digger? Ali is the digger. These are set. Okay. So now we get across to mine. Well. At least a bit, I suppose. Let's expand the walls and lights first. That's gonna become a research room. Hmm. Somewhere I will need to place power plants as well. Where should I place power plants? Here's a pretty big free room right now. So... If I split the industry into the into the cra oil cracker, the power plants and the big power plants as well as the storages so everything is separately from each other I wouldn't I might get a bit less of damages if stuff happens again. So basically one, two, three components. Mm-hmm. If I take apart the crude oil cracker I should get a few components too. Hmm... fella. Large chem fuel power plant, yes. 16 components. Crude oil cracker, 8 components. Okay. This means if I take apart this one for the time being at least, even if it's... sad, if I take it apart now... Oh, water treatment. Water treatment, water treatment. 5 components. I would get back 2 components from this. Hmm, two components. This means I would have six components. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. Hmm, thirteen components. Thirteen components? Oh. I guess with thirteen components I won't get too far, hmm? Expanding the zones on a tree stroke there. All your money belongs to us. At least these are efficient, but the big one is just the same efficiency rate and it does well stuff, I suppose. Monument. 
Ooh. Oh, come on. Psychic drone. And now I forbid certain materials, I suppose. Steel? No. No steel. So, no. Wood? Yes. Firm? Maybe. Hmm. For the time being... Hmm. Hmm. For the time being, no. We can do that later on. Once everything is going again. You got sandstone or marble? Sandstone? Marble? Okay, marble. Marble? Marble. Marble here? Um, marble? Mm -hmm. First, I dig the first part of the room and get the stuff going, I guess. Now, can you dig this one too, please? Next up, we will lay the power line and lights too, just to make sure nothing bad happens. Ooh, I struck silver ore. Sadly, it's the components, but at least it's money. This will be a nice research room for the guy to come. This guy. Really? Can you please get the cooler going, Ali? Just saying. Meanwhile, o Omer is going haywire on the crude oil cracker. And refilling the tank quickly. I guess having some spare camp fuel wouldn't be bad. In the end, uh, uh, or all. Um. Alright, and how about we dig this part as well so we can just get the walls going again already? All for the sake of. Yes. You know. Power line at all. Just saying. Before we get another infestation. Power supply, also important. Really? Just stop mid work. These need to get told as well. Um, this will be the research room parasol. This will be a dining room, I suppose. A hospital. A big industrial room. Maybe for storage tanks and stuff. Or the industrial stuff. You know, crude oil cracker and that kind of stuff. Maybe I might also just try to dig in here. With, you know, a quarry. I intended to make a quarry up here, but hey, who knows? Two more bedrooms. I planned them a long time ago. That should be enough bedrooms for everyone for all eternity, I guess. If I get eight bedrooms, eight luxurious bedrooms. If people marry, even, well, for 16 people, even. Trader. 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 Special needle? Hmm. I would like to purchase 24 hatchets of normal plus quality. Okay. Sonic infestation. What? Infestation repeller. Okay. How many days? Very funny. Expires in 7.8 days. Time for the quest. <laughs> it's the time for the quest. 
travel time 8.7 days thank you an artificial arm built by architect it's strong enough to crush a thick hardwood branch in its hand and precise enough to write a sonnet on a grain of rice it looks and feels like natural flesh but it's harder to damage than plasteel even if it is disarmed, it repairs itself over time. Its internal workings are a mystery to all human minds. You know, this one would be interesting. The anti-infestation item. Hm. Whilst it significantly removes the infestation risk. It enrages the insectoid empress and can lead to more powerful insectoids arriving at the colony. Oh. Okay. So basically infestations would be tougher. So what can we sell? Hey, we can sell insect meat. Off with that stuff. <laughs> Donkey. Karen riding speed 130%. Okay. Hmm. Oh, uh, no components on this guy either. Hyper reef. Ooh. Hmm. -hmm. Rhinos flexes freely most of the time. It stiffens to absorb blows as they land, and is incredibly difficult to break. The secrets of its production are known only to the most advanced glitter world cultures. Okay. So what are you selling? If you're a bulk goods trader. Well, yeah. I guess. Right, you're not willing to buy this? Oh. <laughs> Put. Wait. Am I running out of food? Hmm. Die? Tuna. Raw tuna. Also nice. 2,000 bananas. Guess I need to hoard money again. Hmm. Well, okay. I guess we just try to make stuff meet not meet Hmm Cows the face Okay Pain shock fresher and stuff Clarf Parker Well I can buy a few items I suppose Just so you know, I have plenty of that stuff, so... Okay, maybe I shouldn't do this much. Mm, still too much. Okay, now we're almost there. All your money belongs to us. Just saying. This stuff, Oma, please hold it, okay? And we set some um, basic flooring there. Packed dirt, I suppose. So nothing that burns can grow there. And we want. We want. Uh, protection? Quarry. Yes? Let us build the quarry here. The place is big enough. Actually, how about you move it into the corner? While we at it. But it barely has enough place to build still let me build the oil wells again. This ferry should be able to dig for steel and components and stuff, hopefully. Oh, and we need more walls.
Why red? We need lights too. Oh, and walls. Let's see. Like this. And lights. To get the research room up and going, you know, the research room has to be a little bit bigger than that tiny thing there, so I can get like two new inf new illnesses. Okay, we got new illness events. The flu, muscle parasites, or an infection, I suppose. What temperature is in, is in here? Hmm? 17, 26 degrees. Prisoner? Persistence 7.4. Well, I guess the flu or infection is still okay for me. The parasites are always annoying to get rid of. You see, my people got a fairly strong immune system. Oh, and Oma. Oma? Oma? Can you equip that industrial exoframe, please? With this you will be pretty fast. He's my builder right now anyway. So I might as well monopolize on that fact. And you're doing a party. Oh, of course. Oh well. If you all want to do a party, I guess. And it is a flu. So you got the flu, yes? How are you doing? I guess your immune system is pretty good. Hmm? You might want to treat yourself, flu. Oh, now you're tending to yourself. Hmm? After you visited Grave. Well, okay. I guess. And we got ceiling fans to make sure that all the industrial smoke is properly mixed in the room so everyone gets lung cancer, I suppose. <laughs> Okay, don't take that joke at face value, okay? Oh, now I know why I'm out of wood. The people decide to turn all wood into chem fuel and fill it in and siphon it into the tank, I guess. Well, that makes sense that, sense that it is so full. Ali? Can you make steel, please? Hmm? Just saying. Ooh. Mine. Mine, mine, mine. That's from that big crate. That I completely forgot. At least Oma is fast. He is speed. Can I get Oma faster? Uh, already full. Aww. He needs to do a second trip, I suppose. But hey, we get lots of new steel. After I did my little trips here, I got some nice steel after all, but hey, not gonna say no. And we kinda need more power, I guess. Really? No, what? Please! He can't be out of wood. Look how much wood there is. Just get everything. 
and I mean everything. We certainly can't be out of fruit with this much fruit around. <laughs> well, I would need to turn them red manually, I suppose, but hey. So, we can at least give different rooms different lighting, I suppose. Right, Purcell? I got something at least. Ali, can we get the uh, generators filled? No, please. Hmm? Just saying. That this is kinda important to get the lights up and running again. Now we got lights. <laughs> okay. Next up we can give dick shop dick jobs again to finish that room. But Oma has to get all, all the stuff done, I suppose. The walls, etc. Oh, Oma? Oma! Guess you're doing this now, hmm? <sighs> Oma, Oma, Oma. We need the lights, please. At least my people are c rather happy, I suppose, hmm? <laughs> Eight without a table. Well, this we need to fix. Trick if everyone a table in their bedrooms or stuff. Dolphin, how are you digging there? Hmm? This is kinda weird. Oh, it's Ali who's digging. Okay, never mind. Sorry, Dolphin. <laughs> Apropos lights, are there any fancy lights that turn colors normal uh, naturally? Hmm. Research. Oh, you were busy researching microelectronics, I suppose. Hmm. IED? Any. Oh. Basic landmines, I, I guess. Ultra batteries. Okay. From armors. Fuses. Fuses would be nice. Modular equipment, props and stuff. Oh. Flamethrowers. Succulents. Printing. Liquor brewing. Deep frying. Oh. Genetic, genetic manipulation. Deep worlds, atomics, vault. Hmm. <laughs> Still room fellow. Napalm. Centaline components. Needs fabrication. I see. So you'll need to unlock fabrication first. Oh, and we need the light here too, please. I know my people like doing weird stuff, but hey, please do that stuff and fix it before some weird things happen. Just saying. Houses and pipes wouldn't be bad, I guess. Uh, power conduit? Oh, I can't do it. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, man, I need your gun. If this guy decides to just walk out of the prison... Why are you trying to escape, hmm? You were almost one of mine. Guess you're just gonna get gunned down and put back into prison. not the colonist and why does he just try to run away and become 
friendly or not so friendly after this. Hmm? This guy is still a prisoner who attempted to escape. I wonder if there's one or a mod who would do the thing, Parasol, you know, switching light colors and stuff during raids. But I think that would be stuff one needs to do oneself. And with this, the research room should be dug then, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, power conduits. Mm -hmm. Pipes. Marble pipes, because I have lots of marble right now. And a door, I guess. <laughs> and lights, of course. Then the room should be ba should then the basics of the room should be done. Oh floor, floors, um, sterile tile, sterile hexagonal tile, steel and silver for it. I know it seems like a waste, but it makes the room cleaner and it makes its research go faster. So that is a good thing, I suppose. Nose burnt off. Ugh. Wow. Well, I guess Oma has hit him in the face. He's literally missing his nose. <laughs> he definitely won't attempt to run away anymore. Prison break interval. Uh. Four years. Maybe I should move this, hmm? Or the well. But hey, it's fine, I got a strong wall here. Also, how much wood we have here, hmm? Maybe we need the wood indoors sometime. These are pumping a little bit, but as long as we got water and the water towers, everything should work. Oh, and while I when I expand to the rest, I will also get me some big swimming pool and stuff, I suppose. Recruitment attempts will begin. Okay. <laughs> Well, the guy actually tried it, so he definitely cannot complain. Oh, hoo hoo! Sorry. Resources, yes. Pools are definitely making people happy. Very happy even. Recreation. Swimming pool. Marble swimming pool. You see, it's like from the the public pool parasol, you know? The big public pool of the 20 feet, 25 meters or 50 meters pool. Where people can swim and stuff or have simply have fun. It needs immense of amounts of water to fill through, so... It takes a while or a few days to refill it. There we go, new person. And your main tasks will be... Well, you cannot do exactly... You can't exactly do much, so... Hey! You can do research consults. That's good. Research will be your task. Yes, I know you're a dumpless spread, but hey! Nope. 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 Maybe. One. Yes. Basic. Yes. Four plus. 
Can you even carry stuff? Trying to kill crime. Mm, uh, no. Request? Yes. Clarified? Yes. Doctor? Yes. So basically, this guy will have to fill in for all the tasks people don't like. First and foremost, research. Secondly, you will sit at this console all day and make sure this thing will run. So I get um, an endless supply of camp fuel once the oil wells are set again. Alma, Alma, why are you rebuilding the floors before the walls? Hmm? Uh, always this guy. I guess if he insists. Oh, hazard event. Heatwave, blight, or toxic fall. Out. Uh, we're dead. Why is that termite? Termite. It's too permite. Termite. And from the side where they get blast their way through here. Uh, you, gun, equip. You guys. Formation, attack. I don't care, they will destroy the entire base. Gun. Gun. Good. Spears, you too. Aaron, up here, now, before they manage to bl finish blasting through the wall. I guess it's too late already. Yes, we will defend from the kitchen. Oh? Spares? Move your butt. They will come into the kitchen. Why must there be a termite? Good. Quick! Guess our people are dying. Alma, why are you not shooting? Quick! Rescue your map. Nope. Okay, a man in black appeared and he shall take down all the robots on his own. Nine hours, six hours, four hours, six hours, three hours. Okay, many people will die. Uh, yeah. Thanks, I guess. And now? Stupid termite! And so many ciphers? Hey! My house! Call on me! They're trampling my colony! No, 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 no. Doesn't, doesn't. No. Uh. No. 
Not again! Ah, ah, ah. And this dude is so slow. Come on. The termite will destroy the entire home. Ah. Really? Come on! Randy! If you want me to have a game I was so badly, Randy, why are you doing this? single time and meanwhile the raiders are coming as well of course thousands of them even it's already over um I guess. If the robots kill you too, at least the good pawn should live. Dude? Dude? Why don't you? And Oma, hmm? Tent Oma, do it now. My house. I said tent. Oma, just do it already. Thanks. If at least Oma survives, I can run off from the map. Of course, and before Oma was finished treating, this guy just collapsed. Yep, everyone's dying. And they are kidnapping all colonists, of course. Thank you, Randy. Thanks a lot. <sighs> Randy! Oh. Thank you. Guess it's time for a new colony. Let's start with a little bit of tech this time, okay? This was a lost tribe until Randy decided to make it into a, a lost tribe. So I guess by Randy deciding to just overrun us with raids non-stop, we died. So, next, Randy Random, strive to survive instead of blood and dust this time. Mm -hmm. 
Should we do allow saving every time this time, hmm? Before it was the commitment mode, the Iron Man. So... Mm. Ah, let's try it, I guess. Guts, of course, guts. Oh, rainfall, a bit more. Temperature, okay. Population, a bit crowded. Or very crowded? Mm, decently crowded, I suppose. Just saying that we might be able to... I think we won't be able to get a base as nice as this one this time. And this time I will not build into some in any way into the direction of outside such a ca uh, place to not encourage termites this time, I suppose. Or sepas. The base location was pretty much perfect, but then Randy decided to send termites our way before we had any vault walls or anything. Sadly. Eh, oh well. Pay race to see here. Hatedi Ocean. Sparrow Tooth Expanse. Lurcher Sea. Chaporma Ocean. Kenta Ocean. Okay. Hmm. Uh, air trap land? Mm -hmm. Temperate forest. Hmm. It has wood and stuff, but not too many trees. Something with endless wood like last time would be nice. Boreal forest. Hmm. And that isn't all that hot food would be good. <laughs> Ice sheet per parasol, hmm? Ice sheet. You really like the ice sheet, hmm? Let's see if we can get an ice sheet on the ocean. Infested tourney cave settlement. Ooh. Okay, maybe you start a bit farther away from that. Sea ice? No. Let's see, do we have any reasonably placed ice sheet? Or one that isn't too cold either. And it allows us to get food. Ah yes, I also got biome transitions, as you can see there on the map shown. Hmm? A reasonably placed spot. Hmm? It doesn't have to be the ocean I perceive, but at least a decent place for a base. Food will definitely become a problem, so we'll start in the in spring or summer, I suppose. Uh, the map could be almost good. So basically, we want the terrain to have no caves. Hmm, this map could be something. Hmm, because caves means that there are insect types in there and lots of places for infestation to spawn. So per ideally it will be without those. Oh. What are your thoughts on this one, hmm? Ice sheets with a decently sized space in there where you can, for example, get um, wind power, I guess. Mm. If now we get a place that has settlements nearby as well, so there won't be as many mechanoids coming. Hmm... It's a bit tough. A good spot. A good spot. I want. Caves. No. No caves. Caves? No. Um... Well, almost. Why does this one look so different? Uh, never mind. Here we got four, five settlements not too far away. Is this one even reachable? Yes, it is. Minus 100, minus 100, minus 80, minus 100, minus 100. Uh, maybe not this spot, I guess. 
from my experience, the cult tends to turn all raids into mechanoids only, so... Ideally, we will be close to as many settlements as possible to have humans as raiders instead of mechanoids, because mechanoids don't care about temperatures at all. Hmm. So... Ideally, a faction that isn't hostile nearby would be good as well. Oh. Well, this is a bit cold. That spot isn't too good. Even if the map is good, the temperature isn't. Something that will hit positive temperatures at least sometime in the year isn't... would be good. Hmm... Minus 100, minus 100. Zero. Minus 100, zero. Somewhere in this area, I suppose. Alright, that's not a map. Ice sheet. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Biome transition, hmm? This would have some places where you could possibly even grow stuff. Or not, I guess. Hmm. I will reroll the map anyway, but a good base shape wouldn't be too bad for star for starters. So I'll check through these to see which was a good starting layout. Actually, this one is good. So let's go here, okay? Undergrounder and abrasive, incapable of intellectual and crafting. Well, it's a pretty good digger at least. Wait. Ah. Okay. Okay. Health? No health problems. Good. Um. No. Alcohol culture? No. Tough. Tough is good. Too smart. So basically I have pa permanent mental breakdowns. Off with you. Quarry worker. Bad back. Uh, pyromanic? Nope. Psychopath? Oh. A big brain psychopath dog, hmm? <laughs> okay. I suppose. This one is a digger and plant person. Builder? Okay. Slowpoke? Oh. Very social. We would have a dog. A social person. A builder, a digger and plants person, crafting, hmm. fast learner and beautiful, okay, plants and artistic, hmm, plants and artistic, hmm? hunting skill, ooh, hunting skill. Very interesting. So basically someone with shooting, yes? Sadly, this one is slow. Fast learner and beautiful. Plants and artistic. No social skills. Medical. Hmm. Dormant. Gets very hungry. Hmm. Is a good cook who? Digger and cook. Digger and cook. Hmm. Bit of intellectual as well. Social. Social, medical, intellectual. Hmm. Hmm. So basically, this one can be a researcher, okay? This one can be a dog too. Hmm. But this one is a good cook. Hmm. What's this joke? Level 17 in art. Slowpoke. Slowpoke. We need someone with a good construction skill. Well, yeah. Construction skill? Construction skill and art, hmm? Um, no? 
A nudist and heat inclined in the Arctic area. No. Just no. Construction. Covered. Word very. Uh, no? Ocean lover. You won't get happy in the mountains. Construction one flame. Social flame. Artistic flame. Incapable of violent. Rebel. Mm. Hey. Mm. If it's like this. Anxious stock person and eccentric. Woof woof. Let's see, we need a good construction person, I suppose. If we are to replace one of these. You got big brain and dog there. You got, well, a digger and plants person there, so we might be uh, growing plants underground. Um, um, um. <laughs> Cooking and intellectual and medical. Ooh, this is actually not too bad. What we got here? Mountain lover. Very good. Kind, exceptionally agreeable and giving person, rarely insults others or starts fights, and will sometimes offer kind words to brighten the moods of those around him. Never judges people by their appearance. Okay. Um, police person there. We got a builder, yes. A slow builder, but a builder nonetheless. We got a cook, doc and researcher. Mm -hmm. Then we got a digger and plants person. Mm -hmm. So, don't you think we got everything covered? Basically, we got the Ghana construction, mining, cooking, plants, medical, intellectual. Sounds solid to me. Next is next up is rerolling the map to fit our needs. The three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. So first off, let's see the map. In theory, we can make this work. We got Geyser up here, even. We got Ruins of a House here, and we got a Choke Point here. But Zappas will definitely dig right through here, because this is the weakest spot. So what we could do would also be... would be... we basically entrench ourselves here. That would reduce the risk of Zappas quite a bit, to be honest. But it would raise most of the space we got available. So what are your thoughts? Should we stay with this map or actually reroll? Oh. It seems the reroll mod vanished. So we'll need to make do with this. <laughs> Welcome DJ Hedgehog. Thanks for coming. Happy New Year to you fr too, friend. Oops. That was the pop filter. So basically Randy just killed off the colony earlier. He sent a... Uh, uh, yes. A mechanoid raid with lots of... With a termite and lots of cyphers and stuff. And they basically just nuked their way right into my base. And while they were attacking and killing my people, he sent another big raid with people with lots of guns that just kidnapped everyone. So, we were pretty screwed, I guess. Actually, this place is pretty good. We got two steam gazers here. Both inside. It is decently to... You can defend it decently. But you might need to develop bald walls to defend these walls. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely. We got enough heat in the area to have a few spots with trees. Uh, actually, 
I think it's just these three trees on the these four trees on the entire map. Hmm. We got chip chunks to harvest. We got tables to get. Urns, marble walls, and steel walls to just take apart for easy resources. And as usual, lots of rocks to harvest before people go around rock cutting out in the middle of nowhere. Gold ore, steel, steel uh, components are here as well. Basically, the most uh, important stuff we got. And we even got some muffalos here. Now there's the question if we have any people who got guns. Okay, first of orders, allow everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, we get guns. Hmm. In capital of Wyons, oh, of course. Shooting level six, shooting level zero, shooting not impo not there. Belt action rival and revolver. Hmm. hmm. Thirty-seven range. Hmm. Twenty-six range. Okay. Hmm. So you are our gunner, yes? So you get that gun? You get the revolver. Why do you have a dog? I didn't know anything of a dog. But okay. So first off, people, we need this wood. Okay. Or rather, all wood. What? 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 <laughs> Next off, our uh, task bars. Manual priorities. Growing, plant cutting, mining. These are your most important tasks. Yes. You can do construction too. Ooh, even if you're not too good at it. This guy is a builder and social person. Yes, um, yes. You are our cook, researcher, a genetics, I guess. Writing, maybe. So, resources, resource consults. Mm, well, two. Nuclear stuff we won't touch for a while. Art, mm, level three. Crafting, fairly important. Hunting, hmm. Okay. You're our best gunner and you got a long range gun, so yes. Basic stuff, important. Firefighting, very important. Hauling. Who will be the hauler, hmm? <coughs> you can carry 19 kilograms, 23 and 38. I guess you will be the hauler. Mm -hmm. Something like this. Um, cleaning we'll see soon. Hopefully I can get me some stuff, I guess. We got wood. So the first thing we'll do now is... We get... Well... Ourselves a little vault set up. And make a, I guess, decently sized room. Might be a bit big and it won't be too warm, but it should be positive temperatures at least. Schedules. Um. Three hours of nothing. Something like this, I guess. Recreation before sleeping. Oh no, the winter is coming. We need to build a generator right now. Soil. Stockpile zone. And now, we haul urgently, yes? This stuff, this stuff, this, and this. No storage space? Why? Steel, slack, junk, yes. 
I know it's a bit of a waste of putting them indoors, but it will be helpful. Furniture. Beds. Uh, simple beds, I guess. Something like this might work. So, peepholes. Oh, you heard the craft, alright. Smithing? Yes. Tearing? Yes. But first and foremost, you need to build, construct and uh, build and hunt. These two muffalos will become our first source of food, I guess. Why are you vomiting? Ah, crypto sleep sickness, I see. Um, Over here, we could actually reliably get food by fishing. If we had a small pond in here, we could go fishing inside at least. But like this, people would need to go fishing over here. But we definitely have an inexhaustible um, spot for our food, I guess. Shoes catch. Mm. Large fish? Small fish? Hmm. Let's start with small fish, I guess. Aquatic growing zone. Create a zone where your colonists will try to grow aquatic plants. Aquatic plants ignore tear fertility, but take a very long time to sow and harvest. Okay. Can I try this? Will it even grow? Let's see. What can it grow here? Watercress is a rapidly growing perennial plant. It is one of the oldest known leaf vegetables consumed by humans. Watercress and many of its relatives are noteworthy for their piquant flavors. Gameplay effect. Watercress is only growable in aquatic growing zones, which ignore fertility. These plants will, however, take a long time to sow and harvest. Basic extension colonists work for growing plants in a normally unused space. Mm -hmm. Watercress grows faster than taro, but needs a lot of space, blocking sowing in adjacent places. Oh. Water chestnuts. An aquatic vegetable that grows in marshes, underwater, in the mud. It has stem-like uh, tubular green leaves and small rounded crumbs with a crisp white flesh that may be eaten raw, slightly boiled or grilled. Water chestnut is only grown in the ground zones, blah blah blah. Water chestnut grows 30% faster in the heat, 37 to 60 degrees. Okay, I don't have that temperature. Mm -hmm. Very calm root vegetable. It's one of the few crops that can be grown under flooded conditions, with the base of the plant always underwater. This is due to airspace in the petrol, which permit underwater gaseous exchange with the atmosphere. Terra is only growable, blah blah blah. Terra is the baseline aquatic plant. Lotus plant. Mm -hmm. Lotus takes a long time to grow. Mm -hmm. Minimal tom minimum growth temperature. I see. Hmm. This one is the fastest to grow, I guess. I know it's not ideal, but we might be able to get at least a single harvest in before it's getting cold. Till then, we need to get our uh, skylights and stuff up. So now I can assign pe the people some beds, I suppose. Uh, can you make the third bed too, please? Just saying. What else we need is... First off... Hmm, how many components we have? None? Well, that was to be expected. This stuff we need? This stuff we need. And first off, we harvest all the resources we can directly see outside of our base. Oh. Because when Randy starts sending raids our way non-stop again, they will basically become impossible to get. Next up, we install some stuff to make the room prettier. 
just some basic stuff from all over the map. We get on ourselves a nice table. Reinstall inside. So people get a table to eat at. You know, eight without table and stuff. Mm. No, I cannot get it like this. I cannot move them. So I basically get all the tiny stuffs here. UT5. Five is a little bit more than minus two. Hmm? And the other stuff will completely deconstruct and turn into resources to use. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, here we got more components to harvest. Here are steel. More steel. Getting the stuff out is really important. Uh, outfit. Worker. Worker and worker. Okay, peeps. You guys will all be wor in worker outfits for the time being. Resources? Resources. Because. Also. Too good not connect again. Do it. Why do you always disconnect? Every single time. Okay. Now we keep going. So, you are busy growing a few plants that hopefully will become into something. Temperature should be barely enough at least. Gold or not ideal to grow harvest just now, but later I might not get a ch second chance. This too. Mm -hmm. With this, all resources I saw outside should be uh, attacked at least. All these rocks you will need to transport indoors as well later. Um, orders. Deconstruct. This stuff will all deconstruct for more materials to use. Also good, because we get a little bit of stuff at least. Hello, it's not finished with roofs. Okay, now we got a nice and warm room. Well, we got four muffalos here. You don't suppose I could get them going? Pum, pum, pum. Let's just hope they want to become main hunters. Well, the first food problem is solved, I suppose. Next up, um, production. A butchering spot and a crafting spot I need. I know, it's nothing good, but... Butcher creature, do forever. Mm -hmm. We got 30 components, 360 steel. So what can we build? Power? Uh-huh. Well, well, well. This won't work at all, for the time being. A wind turbine would work too. There should be nothing growing into its way. So we can make it into something. Mm. Some tables to take apart. Sarcophagus and stuff. Are you who's cooking? Cook? You're cooking. Okay. So next up we might need a research table. Hmm? Research table. Butchering hmm? table will be good too, but... First, the first stuff. The most basic necessities in here before we go and... Start building in the back here. Because this is a pretty dang good spot if you ask me. 
there's a nice and open place where we can build stuff in. We can actually entrench ourselves there nicely. And we got enough space for workshops and stuff. And separate rooms. Uh, growing stuff. With skylights and stuff we can save power. Skylights? Skylights. Needs glass panes and for that I need a smelter I think. So we can get planter boxes over there too. And from there we dig into the mountain for our home. Well, not directly downwards, but up here. That should be safer. This time. This time around at least. Okay, what we need next is... Ah, uh, yes, research table. A simple one, I guess. Maybe not exactly a farm wood. Yes, I know, the silver is a bit of a waste, but... Mm -hmm. And we need a stove. Uh, if we get ourselves a windmill here, an electric stove might be a solution, might be decent for the time being. Uh, no, not two, one. We need power cables. Uh, At least far enough to connect to the windmill. And with this we might get... Oh, don't worry, it's big enough that it is at a stable 20 degrees for the time being. The bigger the room gets, the less... Um, yes. The less hot it will be, the less it will heat up. But also, if you connect other rooms to it and open the door to those rooms, it will also get cooler inside if it, gets if it is too hot. So I think it might be safe for the time being. Flag vest. Plasteel flag helmet. Ooh, flag pants. With this we got the wind turbine and a research tent bench. Mm -hmm. Geothermal power sounds good to me. We're getting the geothermal power plant right here. I can get two of them and get a pretty stable power output. Oh, by the way, can you please... Uh, yes. Um, butcher spot? No. Who's the cook? You're the cook. You're the cook, yes? Hello. Can you not use it? Um. Please. People, people. Can nobody of you butcher? Are you just too weak to, to butcher it? Uh, okay. Can you go and butcher it? The temperature inside is pretty comfortable, I guess. Non-ideal temperature, eh? Well, at least it is warm enough that it grows in the first place. It might not be good, but hey. You can't have everything, right? Um, let's see. What do I need to toggle? Mm -hmm. Green, green is good. Room stats? Hideous. Well, of course. Very spacious. Mediocre. Awful. Hehe. <laughs> Auto rebuild? Auto rebuild? Mm -hmm. Make food. What kind of meals can you make with this? Hmm? Level 8.
I guess I could also just sell them to make normal meals, hmm? Yes? Hmm. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. First, lavish in the list. First, the uh, good happy making meals, then the less happy making meals, so they do those first before they do others and then say we got bad meals already, we don't need good meals. Uh, times four. I keep forgetting to press the right one. Four meals at once is a bit faster. Yep, so rival's important. Oh. One second. Pop filter. Moving. Okay, now it's not this much in the way anymore. Sorry. Mmm. Final lavish meal. Vegetarian lavish meal. Mm hmm. And that's uh, uh, and now the normal ones. Uh, meal. Simple. Meal. Uh, lavish, fine. That's the normal. Dermot's meal. Okay. Um Natrimash? Fine meal? Lavish meal? Meatballs? Meatballs. There it is. Uh meatballs times four. And Retchimash times four. Like this. As long as the windmill works properly, we might have some stuff at least. Next up, um, misc trash can, trash can. We got more trash cans. I need to fix that. Trash cans. Basic electronics, small papers, rocks. There's the trash can. Um, bin. Complex furniture. Yes. Waste disposal. What's the requisites? Modern furniture. Okay, modern furniture, I guess. Before the power plant. Because with this we will be able to... Why is there a charity growing indoors? Okay. And the dog is actually eating our food. Roast dog, is that even? Can we turn it into food? Malvina's dog, eh? Okay. You are busy completely fixing the outside here. You are researching. And stuff we'll all need to haul inside later. How's a dump stockpile we need over here? Uh, dumping stockpile zone, please. There goes all the rocks and stuff we will take apart. Starch? Fresh rotten? No. We don't want corpses in there. We want only chunks. Corpses go outside. Dumping stock person. Something about here. So, here we go. No chunks. Only corpses. This time we only go. No fresh corpses. Only rotten corpses. Mechanoid corpses don't go here. Mechanoid corpses go indoors. Mm -hmm. So, everything but rotten. Yes. Next we have a third one. Yes, I know, this is a bit... Mm, 
stupid, but here, fresh and rotten, but no animal crops. Because otherwise they will just put our food together with the human crops that are rotting and stuff. So human crops go here, yes? Here goes our everything rotten. And animal crops and stuff will go over here then. Um, animal crops. Fresh, yes. Rotten, not allowed. Like this. Wait, you can make lavish meals? Interesting. We might want to hunt another muffalo over here. For the time being, at least. Our cross is kinda okay for the people at the moment, I guess. I hope these can finish growing before the cold season comes. Uh, of course. Um, can you please get the muffalo before it gets it? Or at least run off into the house before it gets you. I guess it's faster than you. Okay, you got it. <laughs> Food. Working in the middle of the night? You don't like your schedule, hmm? You carry far too people around night elves. Mountain lover. Hmm. Mountain lover, plus five. Nice. Slow poke. Ah, so it just took a bit longer to notice that it's night, hmm? Okay. Someone will might need to fish. Come on. You're good at fishing? Oh, okay. You can fill up with fishing if you are out of tasks, I suppose. So we're digging everything. I know we need defenses, but we can't exactly afford them right now. Or can we? Security. Gun turret? Nope, no gun turrets. Oh, well. What are your thoughts, Purcell? Maybe a little bit of a kill box in front of here, hmm? Don't have exactly much material for that, too. Area revealed. Ah, okay. Nothing important then. We could make a wall here and. like here. Yeah. And a bit of a kill box, I suppose. Hmm. I don't know if it will work well, but it could work in the first place. Or I could make it here as a big defensive line. But first off, we need a lot of material for that. Steel is very rare and expensive, I guess. But we've dug a fair amount. So you could be able to make steel walls. Structure steel wall. Mm -hmm. Something from around here. Oof. Uh. I know this isn't a beauty, but hey. Hopefully gets the job done. Actually, we make the kill box entrance up there. Hehe. <laughs> uh, digger is you, yes? You dig that, please. And we will need an awful lot of dross, I guess.
Um, steel door. Um, somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. One, two, three. One, two, three. I know it's not ideal, but we can place the maximum amount of traps like that. Through. Well, those be steel spike traps. Uh, stone spike traps are horrible, usually. Work. 53? Oh, the normal spike traps as stone are horrible. Look at that amount of work. 296 work to make a normal sto stone spike trap. That's ridiculous. Mm. Five spikes under tension connected, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Basically the same. Steer? Ah, it's painful to use so much steel. But... Raiders in the in the early game, at least. Do you think we could add more of those kill boxes around the place, spread out? To closer to the base is a bit better because then everything will run through those instead. One, two, three. Okay, we got a direct exit there. It's pretty dang long, and if we get a second turn there, well, let's just say we can get an awful lot of traps. Ooh. 25 degrees indoors, 6 degrees outdoors. Um, since this guy somehow cannot butcher animals, you go and butcher them, I guess. Another thing we need is uh, production, smelter, that's furniture, that's production, electric smelter. Okay. We need an electric smelter here, please. You're doing your little recreation, I guess. Um, recreation. Horse shoes. Might be okay. Ah. Expensive stuff. Chest table for the time being. Maybe some light. The windmill has stopped once again. Hmm? And the base defenses are being built. The steel traps here are only um, a stopgap solution for the time being, but hey. Later I will probably make this from sandstone or something. Or whatever rocks I can turn into stuff quickly. Yes, I know, this area will be just a buffer zone, but I can grow plants here for the time being, at least. And I can fish here, which is why it's actually worth defending in front of that. But here I definitely need to fill up all the way with either vault vaults or extremely many fortress vaults, so enemies just don't dig through here and go through the main entrance. Oh, travelers. Okay, hi there. 
Uh, these things are deconstructed, which is good. Oh. Yes, these we need in Gross Azep, please. Anything else we didn't bring over yet, hmm? Stuff gets conquered, also good. Of course. Uh, you, please, gun, shoot, manhunters. Okay. Manhunting cats? Oh. Quick man hunting cats. Very quick man hunting cats, even. Meanwhile, you're unable to do anything violent like hurting cats that attempt to kill you, I guess. Guys! Guys! There's literally a cat in front of you! Just shoot it already! Before it kills you! Is it too hard to hit a wild animal in front of you? Uh, and I thought you were a soldier? There we go! So who's the dog? Kazuki is the dog, okay. Um, furniture. Radical. You, rest until you eat, okay? You. So, and you go take tend to her, okay? We got medicine. So we better make good use of it. Good. Go back here, take care of your patient. Okay? And you first land your uh, your dock, and you got to take care of the people. Okay, now you're patched up. And these two cats we can turn into food, which is good, I guess. You quickly butcher them so our cook can cook them. Ah. <laughs> Can't I just get rid of the dog there? Maybe I shouldn't say that. Karma will come and bite me for that. Ooh, we are allowed to name our colony, hmm? Hoo-hoo, what should we name them? What should we name them? Hmm, <laughs> hmm, A name for affection. The dogs? Hmm... Frost. Frostpunk. <laughs> A name for city, Rimtown. Nah. New London? Hehe. <laughs> New London. Don't mind me. <laughs> okay, no... You're building again now. Sure, the wall lights would be kind of nice for faster research. They're working on trash cans at the moment, which is also good. How does this 10 degrees Celsius? The plants are slowly growing, very slowly even, but they are growing. And I guess this is a Swiss, a Swiss cheese. Later on we'll build more doors into it, bec but because doors are expensive, we'll add them afterwards. Colonists need names, hmm? Alright, does this work? Join Q. Hmm. Join Q? I wonder. Um. Okay, it does work. So if you type join queue, it will put you into the name queue. 
It's not exactly a good medical bait. Just saying. A real bait would be better for that. Even if it needs even more steel. And I'm always short on steel. You could also cl say that it's quite a steal. Hmm? <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. Boom. 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 By the way, steel spike traps do an awful lot of damage. They do like two to three times the damage of a wooden spike trap. But well, wood keeps regrowing, so yeah. Well, I think you get the gist of it. These grow faster than these. No. These just have different sprites? Interesting. Oh well. Maybe we expound the zone? Just saying. We got a fairly big water body, so why not? Uh -huh. These you don't want in there for at least for the time being. And the basic wall for the kill box is standing, I guess. We got 500 units of steel. One, two, three. Modern furniture. Yes. Waste disposal now, please. With this, we won't need any cleaners. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. I know it would work if I just had one of those doors each, but if I have two, my people can get in and out wherever they want, so... It might be safer for my people at least. Or is it? Actually, let's not overdo it. These cost a lot of material as well, so let's make it just an in very bigger intervals. So two in between three. Three. One. Oh, okay. Something like this. Now we got regular intervals in which we can replenish traps, and we got bigger intervals in which people can leave the walls. And if I added another layer of the kill trap in the, of the kill box here, it would go here, I suppose. So I can double the amount, total amount of traps. I need to make sure to not get too many steel spike traps in here, Fu, because, you know, they are expensive to make because it's steel. But they get the job done, it will probably kill everything that walks into it in a single hit. Ah, stress table needs chairs. Okay, okay. I guess. Basic lights is are there. Okay. Next we need um, do forever. And we need glass melting. Do until you have mm, 20. I guess. Actually, I'm not do until. Do X times. 
So, now I get 20 glass paints. And for that we can make um, skylights. You see, with this I can grow the cherry tree indoors. To get food from it, because it randomly appeared. Which isn't too bad for me. We got a little bit of food. But just a tiny bit. Cool. Um, do we need freezers or uh, anything? Well, probably not a colossal one, but a freezing chamber would be nice. Hmm. For the time being, I think we can make a small freezer here. I know, it's not ideal. But it gets the job done. Uh, temperature cooler. There we go. And this will be our small fridge, I suppose. The food storage. Huh. Please stop eating my, my survival meals, doggy. 500 units of steel. The base is um, base level safe, at least. These stuffs I will all need to hold inside. Especially these. Quickly, please. All the outdoor resources. Hmm? Maybe I should get me some gun turrets over here organized. I know, it's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. But this can thin out monsters. Uh, and here we can do a big defense line, I guess. And the final one here. All for the sake of stuff... Uh, not, not killing our people this time around. That would have been a funny place for a tiny base as well. Easy to close up. Then you got water for fishing and growing stuff here. And then Zappas blow up through here and kill you. Also a new weather event. We got either, either a rainy thunderstorm, rain or gentle snow. Ooh, gold. With gold I can build fancy stuff. Pum 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 Beauty 21. Well, no, it's mine. Beauty 21. Also mine. Beauty 5. Well, well, well. Hmm. These slate walls. Deconstruct, please. That sandstone table, deconstruct. These sandstone walls, deconstruct and deconstruct. I can use the materials. After these defenses are finished, the baseline at least. And I'm pretty sure the dog will keep running through the traps till it dies. It's trendy after all. Yep, yep. I am working on it actually. Gentle snow, woohoo! First off, we got. We are making uh, stuff here. Who's the crafter? You're the crafter. We got no power right now, I guess. <coughs> we need more wind, then we can smelt ourselves some glass paints so this cherry tree will grow new stuff. Next up, we will make um, a big roofed place here. And grow stuff indoors with the... Well, not exactly hydroponics, but we got planter boxes at least. Um, normal planter box? There's the title. That's the normal one. We can make it from steel too, or stone, I suppose. Um, you make... Glass paints now, please. 
Oh well. I guess. Uh, require out skill 5. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's a little problem. It's getting cold outside. And we got a raid. Thank you, Randy. It's a single guy. And we got... I think we're safe. We got 20 traps. Food. 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 Why is he missing body parts? But hey, food. We got new food. It turns into food, yes? Yes. Twisted meat. Hehe. <laughs> I guess it's December and getting colder. Wait, it's December and it's only minus four? Indoors keeps getting colder, eh? Or else? Snow everywhere. We need to build the freezer still. We got a few cherries. And you um, are hauling the stuff, I guess. Meanwhile, you are planting more stuff and we are hoping that this stuff doesn't just go bad before it finishes growing. Let's see, steel. Steel. Planter boxes. Production. Planter box. Not pudding. Steel one. Yes, it's a waste of steel, but hey. And first off, we will make some stuff here, I suppose. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And a solar flare, of course. One, two, three. Twelve, fifteen. Okay. Next up, we will need um, vaults. Uh, yeah, I guess that we need to build around that. A steel door uh, in the wall, please, not before it. Oh, it's just very, it's just really early in the game, so I'm sure Randy will start getting naughty soon. Power. Can we get a battery? No, not yet. Okay. Of course. Uh, please keep moving so the muffalo doesn't reach you. Just saying. That it might be better. Okay. Now you butcher the muffalo so we get more meat to eat. Sadly, we only got one more left in here, but hey. This will become the little greenhouse for the time being. We might need some heaters and a power line there. Um, something like this, I guess. For the time being, we could get ourselves um, either day lamps there, or we could get ourselves, well, we need a better craft, I guess. Crafting three, crafting four, crafting nothing. Okay, we need to craft a lot to increase the crafting skill. So, um, stone cutter table. Um, no, not an electric one. That is six components. 
You're kidding. Okay, our food storage is getting finished. Zone. Uh, uh, not growing zone. No tone area. Not a lot area. Please. Uh, Stockpile zone. There we go. Food. Rotten? Oh. Foods? Yes. Manufactured? No. 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 Cropses. Animal cropses. Yes. But only fresh. Okay. And here now. Food? No. Cropses? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now this cool level run a little bit and cool the freezer into freezing temperatures. You two are having fun there. Hmm? needs to be hauled. Hmm? Bit by bit we are getting it all in. A uh, research post. Hmm? Okay. I know it's stupid to carry this stuff inside but the moment my people will dr drill the holes into blocks they will walk all the way through the map for one after another if they can just carry 10 of them home and then carry them just 3 meters instead of 3 kilometers. Had all of that happen already. So yeah. Hey, the trash can will be done soon. Then it will be a bit less dirty. Mm. Uh, the food here needs to be hauled too, please. Enter a freezer. Slowly we are running out of food, I guess. So, Marvalo, please give us some meat. Hmm? Good. We got some meat. Next up, we need our um, production. Maybe a butchering table. Maybe what one we can actually build. Hey, waste disposal. Cool. I guess we can build it from, well, wood. A little bit of wood we still have. It's not much, but that's enough for this one. Never mind. Steel butcher table. Electric butcher? Um, not an electric one for now. Hmm. Please go and please me go and build that stuff quickly. Uh, Randy, why? Which invasion event should happen? Medium rate drop, small rate, or medium rate? Thanks, I guess. As long as it is not a rape drop, I might actually make it. A rape drop would probably happen right in inside my base. Which wouldn't be good for me. Huh? Low rage worker. 
Unknown threat. Uh, no thanks. Ooh. Thank you, Pyrosol. <laughs> the last colony ended really tragically. Hmm? As Randy decided to drop the robots and the raid and the raiders on me, and then they kidnapped everyone. Oh, the first planter box is getting down. It's a bit too cold to run it right now, Fu. Oh, and please, I need some meat for food. Meats are kinda important. Oh, and it's. and the power line might be good as well, I guess. So everything can get su supplied. Got some basic stuff, soon. Tailoring bench. Uh. The electricron needs components too, so no. Not the components variant. Ah, uh, the Green Mara Union. So where are my people? You're here. You're here, and you are. In danger. So I'll go back. There's a guy with a bow going after you. Dog? No. What kind of guy is that even? Hmm? I don't have the stuff to um, capture him anyway, but. Finskent. Hmm. Natural Heart Worker and Kleptomaniac. No. Hmm. First, strip him. Okay. Can I attack him to death? Okay. Really? Did you see that? The dog just ran and bit off the head of the corpse right away. Uh, yeah. I guess. But I got some nice clothing at least. Ah. Fire! Fire! Guys! Hello! Fire! Fire! And we dump the crops this year, I guess. Maybe I should build a wall around it. Just saying. That it will keep, well, my people from being too unhappy from seeing corpses non-stop. We also need more steel, I guess. Hmm? You're still busy there? Okay. So, steel? Mm -hmm. This stuff is hold. So, next up, we might also hold this. I know it takes a while to get that st all the rocks from the map into your base, but it will be worth it in the long run. The less of that stuff is outside, the less uh, stupid rumors can happen, too. Oh, Really? 99% grown and now they are rotting? And, go and breaking because of the temperature? 99% uh, grown? Actually... I could make some walls, roof this entire thing, and then see if I can make it into a heated room so the stuff grows properly. 
with the lights and all. <laughs> that could be an idea. Just hope it is enough for the pillars. Because then we can make this a uh, small heated water growing and fishing place. Even if it sounds stupid, it might actually work. So, and if it works, we can grow this stuff all year. News of peace. Nice. We just need some vaults or pillars to hold up ceilings there. Then some window lights to not use too much power and some heaters. And it will be good. Meanwhile here, what should we grow when once it is finished? Hmm? Radishes. Hmm? Very short growth period, less than two days. This means it is an effective crop if you need small amounts of food fast. And the growing terracing work will be the most important factor. I see. Okay, so what should we grow on fruit? Hmm? Oh, we could grow light mushrooms, huh? Right enough to grow other sh other crops in it. Ooh. Contrary to other plants, Brussels sprouts thrive in snow and receive considerable boost to growth if snowing. As long as it is also growth season, they won't grow or won't be able to be planted otherwise. They won't die due to cold. Ooh, yes. Yes. Just yes. In this area we'll grow Brussels sprouts and carrot them in chocolate, I suppose. Brussels sprouts won't die to cold. You know, IRL people freeze Brussels sprouts, or let them freeze, for the sake of making them actually taste better. They get a sweeter taste and all. Make any stone blocks do forever. I just need it to be warm enough for them to, for the stuff to... Aw. Oh. Well, there goes my food. 100% grown, but... Right. Orders? Harvest. You harvest now. Okay. I can get at least a little bit of food route out of it. If you do that stuff. Come on! Now! Before the rest is gonna swell. Eh. This stuff isn't much, but hey! Why do you prioritize hauling that stuff over, actually taking care of the plants? Hmm? Oh, I see. No, I don't see why. But if this little plan of mine works, I might be able to grow this stuff all year round. Okay, uh, the last few rounds of them I saved at least. This one the dog can eat, I guess. Frozen, won't spoil. Ooh. 
Ooh, hoo hoo. Heck yes. Right. I forgot to set a new research task, right? Well, you guys are hauling stuff, I guess. You know, if I you haul plus goes down one priority level. So you do your plant tasks and stuff. Actually, you should do your digging too. Research. Back to geothermal power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? Advanced power source, advanced geothermal generator. Uh -huh. This advanced space object generator produces electricity from geothermal steam geysers. Must be placed on a steam geyser. Yes. So, how much power it makes? 750 hit points. Ooh. 506 points. With advanced power sources. Advanced power sources. There it is. Mm -hmm. Space attack green power generators. Including advanced solar panels and wind turbines. I see. So everything is freezing, I guess. I'm fairly low on food. Can you cook? Hmm? Even just a bit would be good. Of course, having meals would be good. Or else, no more fruit than this little bit. And we probably are out of animals as well. So this crops will actually become our food, I suppose. Haha. <laughs> It's not good, but hey! Minus 9 to plus 37 degrees are comfortable for you. Well, that's fairly good, I suppose. Meanwhile, I'm still waiting for this room to get finished. Well, you sleep for now and... Ingross, 11 degrees Celsius. It definitely doesn't get too hot. I rather need to make sure it doesn't get too cold. And a uh, red eye rent. Rain, 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 rain with thunderstorm or clear red eye. Hmm? Hmm. Dining chair. Steel dining chair. Where else? And alright. The suffering army. And uh. Forks are also coming. Randy? Hello? I think Randy didn't sleep well. Soon I need to get my people some toilets too. Um, you are going down there. Okay. You are going down too. Did I get just run through half my... Hey. He carried a snow hair? Ooh. Okay. Hold urgently. This. Please. Okay. Did you just snatch their beer? Hmm. Emergency food, hmm? Welcome, Edwin. Thank you for coming. Let you hear. Randy decided to kill our last colony, sadly, because suddenly a big group of mechanoids came and they blasted their way into my kitchen. And then Randy decided to let push come to shove and add a group of raiders on top that then came in through exactly that hole and kidnapped everyone from the colony. And so the colony ended. I here we got a new one, an ice sheet colony. Alright, the uh, map hero mod is gone for some reason, so we not got to make do with the map the way it was, and 
we're basically gonna grow Brussels sprouts. Rainy thunderstorm. Okay. I need more bridges, I think. Marble bridge? Bridge? Stone bridge? Steel bridge? Hmm. For making a roof over this place to turn it into an aquatic growing area. By the way, Edwin, if you're still here, how are you today? Searching the power plants, the good ones. Good. You're digging at the other end of the map. Also, that. Please need hauling to get not into the ray later on. Okay, you need some sleep. Well, it's lightning or uh, thundering outside, I guess. Oh, and the cherry tree died, I guess. Died, I guess. Then it won't need the skylight either. My people might need a toilet too, hmm? Could Burra survive a crate room? Hehe. <laughs> well, it is cold outside, I guess. One to two pillars more should do the trick, I think. A visitor. We got a visitor. Mm hmm. Can we trade with him? Ooh, we can. Social? Social? So, Mitra has uh, the social battery soon. By the way, Edward, if you type join Q, you can also join the character Q and become a colonist. If you want to, that is. Plus steel knife. Ooh, it's worth a little bit of silver. Medicine? Medicine. Woohoo. Shark bomb? Hmm. Pum pum, pum pum pum, pum pum pum, pum pum pum. Okay, we got ourselves a little bit of stuff, I guess. Next up would be to us getting skylights for the sake of yes. Also. Can you please finish the room up there? We're running out of food. And you please turn that rabbit into some meat we can eat. Before someone just eats it. Of course you got my nutrition, hmm? Now you're eating the meat raw, hmm? Um. Quick! Give me all your food! Good. Are you good? No, you good! Uh, one to two meals again. Two meals, I guess. The room is done. Next we need Um yes. Light I guess. Ceiling lights. Sun lamp. Hmm? So this one has a decent carriage. Basically cars these 
completely. Hmm. Mid? Yeah, the center bit won't be reached, but hey. This is a stopgap solution. Until I get the crafting skill high enough. Next up we'll also need heaters. Temperature heater. Uh, power line? Oh, it's already built. Okay. So what are you building? You are still well fed. You are well fed. You are hungry, hmm? Well, I know why. If push comes to shove, we got a little bit of food here. Pum 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 Do we need more rolls? Just wondering. A uh, roof? Constructed roof, yes. I guess if this we might have enough roofs. You're feeling sad again, hmm? Okay. I know you don't like it, but it is food. At least you won't starve anymore right now, right? I know it's not good, but it will uh, keep them alive at least. I got a little hole here. The hole needs to get filled. So, now it's not unroofed anymore, yes? Good. So, next up we need our, our heaters. Please. Eh. Feeling cold, huh? Can you please make the heaters? Hmm? Because these would be kind of necessary. Hmm? No roof there. Oh, come on. Maybe with this wall? You go eat. Uh, you go eat at two. At least it is keeping you alive. So how's your temperature, hmm? You are able to endure. Alright, it's how about we strip them. It won't be good stuff, but it will keep you warm in, in push if push comes to shove. Turn current medium. I guess I need to. Oh, steel pitch. Hmm? With this, I might be able to build a roof. Maybe. 
I might need to cut off your food because of the impassable part. Hey, a slaver, hmm? You, trade, now. Now, food? A uh, polar bear appeared, huh? Uh, Food? All mine. All your food belongs to us. Uh, I guess it is worth a uh, good trade. We got some proper food again, and we get some medicine. Any good pawns? Trades, martial artist. Okay. Social, interactual, medical. Hmm, pretty good pawn, but I can't exactly afford any of them. Oh well, so only food it is. Food and medicine. Ooh, food. Food. Food, 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 food. Real good, we got food! You, go cooking! Okay. I uh, really need that thingy. The room is still not f completely roofed. Brussels sprouts. The room is heated even if it's not completely roofed, hmm? Because of the heaters, I suppose. But we got something going, I guess. Okay, now it's completely roofed. Now it's a nice and warm room. Oh, we got plants that can grow. If you got power, that is. It might keep save us in the long run. After we get a few meals, I guess. Everyone should be fed again. Hey, they're eating on my table. That cop is completely eaten, I guess. Uh, Prioritize hauling this guy, please. You got some leather and stuff. Clothes, hmm? Um. Pelt? Pelt. Pelt coat? Pelt coat. Well, maybe a few of those. It could be useful. Okay, you got food. A tiny bit at least. Um, with good meals even. You're already out of good stuff, hmm? You might need to make a cut off here to make the room actually roofable. Or I need to research the swimming pontons for that. Um, some warm clothing could be good, I think. Just saying. Doesn't even need to be much. We got a heated room here. And, well, it's kinda getting cold. Um, heaters. Heaters. Temperature. Heater. There we go. One heater, please, for the room. It's still okay for them all, but hey. Oh, you're level 13 on construction. Ooh. 
If now you can get a good building skill too. Uh, crafting skill. You're busy digging everything here. Diggy hole. Diggy hole. Diggy hole. The stuff we need. Uh -huh. We get a bit more steel. And you're heading home. You're shivering a bit, hmm? Getting a bit cold. Oh, well. Right, is the first one already finished? <laughs> so I think we're doing nicely, at least for the moment. Halfway done with researching the thingy. Oh, and trash can. I completely forgot about the trash can. You might want to build that trash can quickly. And maybe a heater in here because it's getting cold. Just saying. Now if there was wind, the room would actually heat up. Outdoors minus 30, indoors minus 13. Hmm? Come on, already breaking. At least this stuff doesn't go bad from cold. But some light would be still good. Mm, power. Nope, we don't have solar power plants, sadly. I think we are in a bit of a pickle. Not potatoes, Brussels sprouts. Because that stuff can actually be grown here safely. Ita? Ooh, room is getting a bit warmer. At least warm enough, I guess. Mm, you're getting cold. Don't you have any clothing for you? Hmm? Cloth jacket. I told someone to make stuff, at least, so... Where is it? I guess you're also holding stuff now. Mm, level. Condition? Agility? Maybe some movement speed would be nice for you all to get into the warm area quicker. Hey, more! All with Brussels sprouts, so this stuff doesn't freeze if it if the power's out again. We will need to build more pillars too, and then we will see if it's possible to fill it enough to have roofs to get everything. Feeling unhappy, hmm? Cold? Yes, cold. Well, it's cold after all. Nothing we can do about that. It's winter after all. We can just hope it, the winter ends soon. And that the research proceeds be better. 47% research speed. Ooh. Better temperature and room cleanliness. The trash can should fix the room cleanliness, but the temperature, that's a critical one. We need more power to, serve, to solve the temperature issue. Ah! Which invasion in rent should happen? Big mechanoid raid, small raid, or big raid? Ah! Randy! Uh, 
typical Randy. I suppose. No, this is a bad spot. Um, two more windmills, please. They aren't exactly the best power plant, but they are the only valid one I can make right now. Ooh, small right. Thank you, Paracel. You're a lifesaver. Another mechanoid raid would kill me, probably. Especially if a termite appears. Ah. Randy. Brussels sprouts, please. All Brussels sprouts. The only plant I can grow here. I mean, really grow here. Mm hmm. Passage of world. I see. I think you might not want to be out here in 10 seconds. Just saying. When the raid happens. There it is. The raid. If you are heating yourself up again, also nice. This guy. Hey! Dude! Why are you trying to burn steel walls? For real? That dude was trying to burn steel walls? Uh, rather just hauling this guy. At least he had a bit of food. Because we're all out. Meanwhile, the dog is ha kinda happy, it seems. Wait, isn't this from Avatar? Ah, uh, again? Stop igniting my steel walls! Please! No, 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 no. You won't ignite walls today. Got us. Um, hold on urgently. Food. Food. Meanwhile, the corpse has wandered into the pile of um, emergency food. Maybe. Well, I guess the dog at least won't eat the people at the other food anymore. Thanks for coming today, Parasol. Please rest well. Clothing. Emergency clothing. I guess it will be time soon as well. So we've got kind of a stable life loot for the time for the be time being at least. Uh no. Russell sprouts, please. Russell sprouts. We got um, bearable temperatures for the time being. And. Woohoo! I think you made it quite nicely already. Most of the resources outside the base have been um, dug at least, or harvested. We are getting. 
some power soon. Here we are working on some permanent power supply. Not the stuff that keeps going on and off non-stop. Not very really useful. And once this person here has reached our 5 in crafting, we can actually make windows for light inside. Yes, making windows is a bit expensive, to is a bit tough to make in this game. But hey, it's better than nothing. Are you holding just that little bit? And we're out of food, hmm? as usual. I don't care. I want my people to be safe. And for that I need... Well, first off, I need to clean up the map outside my base. I suppose. He slept a little bit. Can I actually make some... targets, hmm? Shooting target. Muffle wool. That's fine with me. Something like this. Mm. No, this one needs wood. Okay. Uh, power. Please. So we can grow food. Just staying. And like this we have power. Now everything will be running. Comfortable temperature. And power's off again, I suppose. Eh, feeling cold? Of course. Of course. Fallen cataconic in the middle of the ice desert. Oh well. That's it for the plant person. Guess we're having enough hunger to feed corpses now, or eat corpses. Um, eat? Eat? I know it's not good, but hey! At least you're not hungry anymore. Really? A stone trait? No. Really? Really? Develop a snow cleave dependence from doing nothing. Imagine I had the materials to buy people from the slaver that, that appeared earlier. Hmm? Hey, doggy, go away from the royal insect jelly. Hmm. Golden shiny jelly used by the queens to create new spawn. It is smooth, rich, and brings joy to those who consume it. Because of its unique biological composition, it boosts immunity and nourishes anyone who has a taste of it. Go away, dog. Mm. 
Psychic Sooth. Oh. Well, well, well. Basically, your creation fulfilled by eating insect jelly that was dropped by radars, I guess. Now you're holding the stuff? Okay. The corpse is gone. Pum 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 pum. You're building walls, hmm? Let's see if can we can actually make it. Deep water. Well, cannot walk above deep water. Deep water. Hmm? Need floaty platforms to make this into a room with roof, I suppose. Or mana booster. Ooh. Yes. 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 Higher on Royal Chelly. Royal Chelly Tolerance? Okay. First off, you eat dead. Transport pot. Food? Food? Quick sleeper. Animals. Construction. Plants. Uh, okay. Furniture. Uh, sleeping spot? I suppose. Medical? You rescue her. You. You're feeling cold, hmm? You eat the insect jelly. That didn't count as food, eh? You're already kinda out of food, but it is a pretty decent pawn. Okay, and now you go and see to those Karen animals. Especially the one with the many, many components. I kinda want to... Uh That one. It has tons of components on it. Come on, did it just leave? Come on, one more hit, hmm? Okay, you need to get inside. Uh. Okay. Uh, maybe one more sleeping spot, please. Just to get treated in there. On it, that ear needs treatment quickly, please. My trust should bleed out soon, and then we get food again. I hope. Well, this stuff is growing slowly. 
Earth rate 142%. Ooh. Alright, because it's because of snow, hmm? Eh? Don't run away. Please. Okay, you should be fine again, I think. Don't make it run off the map, okay? The frostbite is nicely treated and the ceiling. And there we go. Food! Food! Hmm? Growth hormone, speed up the heartbeat's growth process. Okay, some genetic engineering stuff, hmm? Um, stuff, I guess. No food? Good. Oh, you're feeling fine again, hmm? Okay. Incapable of walking, really? Hey, stop feeding them our food. The little best we have. Please. Help much for being incapable, no more longer incapable of walking. Hmm? Fully healed, that's nice. So, yeah, I think we're kind of. I think we need to. Um, suspend the lavish meals. Hmm? Why are they even there twice? Fine, meal. Hmm. Carnivore fine meal. Do until you have six. Okay. So basically hmm. boom, boom, boom. Basically less food waste there, hmm? At least until we have our uh, fill of stuff. From a smoke leaf with crawl, hmm? It all is at 58%. Of course. That event basically has turned this character almost useless. <laughs> Light. It's growing. Outdoors minus 46? Come on, that's a bit colder in the map set. Uh, so, belt roof area, yes? Just wondering if I can roof this up enough to grow stuff. Or not. Because that would be kinda important if I can roof it up. Or at least enough to keep it warm. If it isn't warm, I can grow stuff here yeah, with skylights and stuff. Eh? That's pretty quick.
Uh, of course. So basically it's so cold outside that you don't want to be outside. Hmm? So what else can we make? Maybe some heated tubs or something? Really? <sighs> Actually, this might at least become a ro somewhat roof place. Hmm? Transport pot? Food? 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 Fast walker, ocean lover, gastronomist. Mm -hmm. Artist, medical, social. Okay, but I have no prison and I cannot supply people like that. But hey, makes good food. <laughs> Can you stop it? I'm about to just let this character freeze, I would dare. After the game basically turned it into a useless luck. Twenty seven percent grown. Hmm. At least we got cheetahs. Snow hair self tamed. Food? Food? You go there and strip that person for their clothing. So you might get some good uh, thermal resistant clothing, I guess. Oh. You know. You wear that thingy that sword here somewhere? I definitely saw it a moment ago. Um. Where did it go, the Muffalo thingy? Well, well, well. I have some, have some good clothing, if I can find it again. I had something with cold insulation 46 degrees. Just need to find it again. I'm sure it was there. Hmm. Weird. Cold insulation? Am I stupid? Ah, oh, there it is. You hear that? I don't care if it's thrown by a corpse before or something, but at least it will keep you alive. Next to... Mm Don't run away, rabbit. Don't run away, little roast. So now you're comfortable till minus 56 degrees, so you should be fine. You minus 12. That's not too good. Well, at least you won't die right away. Hmm. Good cold insulation clothing would be good. Something like Muffalo rule stuff. Hmm? 
Pelt coat. Pelt coat? But hey, rule stuff from rule. Eh. Buffalo pelt rock. Hmm? I don't want a rock. I want warm clothing. Leather, fabric or leather. Leather, leather, fabric or leather. What material category is this? Hmm? My fellow wool clothes keep the body warm and even in very cold conditions. Yes? So, can I get some stuff? Here we go. My fellow wool clothing for the cold resistance. Are you wearing it now, or did you just put it somewhere? Hello, where did you put it? Sinfred glass? Mm. Nope. Muffalo clothing? Do just a cripit, hm? Idiot. It's yours. This guy doesn't go outdoors anyway. Now my people outdoors can actually survive outdoors. a little bit more important than that stuff that this guy did. What are you carrying? Hmm? 20 grams? You can at least properly work. <sighs> that was strange, hmm? Insulation cold. 40 degrees. Ooh. Okay. So basically, you can uh, this, hmm? and then you should be prepared as well. Of course, power goes off again, and this stuff doesn't go bad at least. Now you hold that stuff, I guess. I said hauling. It's food, after all. Not good food, but it is food nonetheless. I have a 5% error with Schmutt in the colony. <laughs> Eating? Food? Precious, eh? Still precious? Expensive.
I guess this is the way how I can make this work. It's not good, but hey. Really? Mm. Will this person finally leave? Please? They're eating all my food. No, it is the chance to turn this into a closed room where I will be able to make skylights to grow food. I suppose. New trap? New traps. Okay, new traps. Uh, traps are set. Cool box is there. What the heck are you doing? Hmm? So you all are not very happy because of eating the crops and all, and did this person keeps driving everyone mad on top? Come on! Do you need to frost him outside or something? Or will you finally join us? So now you can walk again, hmm? And the first thing you do is try to run for your gun or what? Gun lover. Definitely gun lover. Imagine a person just keeps going after a gun non-stop and keeps passing out because they are basically freezing to death while going after a gun, but they don't care because all they want is their gun. I'm even running out of corpses to eat at this point, because just nothing appears. I really hope that the, the Brussels sprouts will become edible at some point. Production. Planter box. Steel planter box. I'll read it about two more. Hmm? Just for some quick growing stuff, I suppose. Uh, rich disease event should happen. Flu, gut rums or malaria. Even worse, Randy, what are you planning? Really? Can this random person finally leave, please? Whatever. Ooh, power. Power. We got power. Finally power. Advanced lights. Oh, that's good. Biofuel refining? If you actually had biofuel. Hydroponics. Batteries. Sterile materials. Hmm. Hmm. Let's think quickly. We need something good at least. Remember, fella. Drill for oil. Mm-hmm. 1500. Props. Nope. Vanilla expanded. Rocks? Hmm. Beautiful rocks to decorate the colony. Hmm. Uh, carpet making. Okay. I guess next would be to drill for oil. Hmm. Rimmer fella. Drill for oil. Okay. And we'll be able to finally set... Uh, power. Power. We'll finally be able to get a proper power supply. This means once this one is up, we might be able to make a living space here in front of this instead of here. So we can get the second one he up here. Pum 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 
pum pum pum pum pum pum pum pum pum pum pum all right, that's also mine. This, please. And we got it. Of course. Of course. Really? No self tent? Tend to yourself. Uh, of course. Yes, we got steel purchase there, okay. And this post show go away finally. <sighs> there are some stuff so they go get their immunity fast, I suppose. But I guess they will all die, simply. Dude, how about you rest too for your healing? And I don't care. At this point, I don't care. I need the food. No butcher it so we get food. And of course you're eating the raw food, huh? Now you rest. Actually rest in the proper bit. Finally this person is leaving. It's about dang time. Look how quickly their hyperfermia goes up. Guess I'm having food again in a moment. I shouldn't have saved them, but just eaten them right away. Then I would have at least... Then I would have more food at least. Does anyone else have decent medical knowledge? No? Guess you need to take care of yourself. At least room isn't all that dirty anymore, hmm? With the trash can around. And a draught! Really? At least the stuff in my planter boxes is growing properly. Only this person is doing stuff now. This character is literally a time bomb. I should just turn them into food or something at this point. Okay. You eat. You might survive. Um, I'd rather not die there. Hmm? Wisdom body pass 20%. Thank you and should surely eat a bit of it. Hmm? I, see I said a bit, not all. Hmm? Also, you should be the one resting right now. Hmm? Just saying. You can haul and eat it yourself. And you're going right back at this, hmm? Of course. Hmm. Eh. 
you really like your steel purchase, eh? Can you please? <sighs> Doctor, can you please take care of him now? Hmm? Before he dies. If someone else tends to them, the quality is way higher. So the immunity gain speed will speed up a lot. Your cells are fine again already, which is good. What we're doing to just grow the food hmm? in this completely foodless map. In the end, it is a bit of a problem. Cave crawler. Hmm? Tell me more about the cave crawler. Cave crawls are an aberration created by experiments of some forgotten mad scientist. They are large, pale yellow insectoids whose appearance was akin to megapede. Cave crawls possess venomous tentacles protruding from the head, which allows them to quickly apply a very potent venom to whatever dares attack them. Special mechanics. Cave crawler bites can transmit the bubonic plague, making them especially dangerous in close quarters. Mm -hmm. So how fast is it? 4.53, yes? 5.74. Hunt. Rescuing Ron? Um. Food? Please? Let's just hope this guy won't die. Food. Hey, did the just sh shot just get deflected? Hmm. So, food. We got food. Something actually walked into the map again. Insect meat. Fresh, frozen, won't spoil. Well. Please take care of him. Just for half a second. Mm. Power plant? Wait, I can't turn this into meatballs or no insect meatballs. This is sad. 57% grown? That stuff. Uh, and you need to take care of your uh, health, I guess. You should maybe take care of yourself. But I guess this guy will die from the illness and this pawn will turn complete to, uh, into a complete potato. 
Which hazard event should happen? Blight, Heatwave or Cold Snap? A Cold Snap would definitely kill the colony right now. So a Heatwave would be the best thing that could happen, if you consider the temperature outside. should take care of your health too. Hmm? Just saying. Pum, 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 pum. Uh, hygiene. Maybe a well? Still primitive well. I know it's nothing much but... It should keep the people... Alive at least. Need warm clothes? What do you mean? He has warm clothing. Right. You might actually survive. Good. This one needs better tending food. Good. Here the immunity has almost caught up to the illness. It's a race and the mal malaria is ahead. The immunity keeps catching up and a heat wave has happened. Meaning everything is getting a lot warmer again and people might actually not die from the cold. And as malaria keeps losing on growth on its advantage against the immunity, it might be that Kazuki will actually so rife everything. <laughs> You will live and you might live. It's catching up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Catching up. Ooh. They might actually all survive in the end. Well, our food is a bit uh, on the low end food. Brussels sprouts? Hey, the first food might be um, harvestable soon. But we need this stuff finished quickly. Okay, 98%. We got this. And we might have this. Really? Ah. <sighs> This guy had arrived? Why were you with us in the first place, if you had arrived? You cannot move anyway. <sighs> Please take care of him so he doesn't die. Immunity? 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 Yoohoo! Immunity! Good! Not spear bridge. Generator, power, warmth. So the stuff can actually grow all day. It's important! Ready? Why is the steel in the middle of the door? Please. <sighs> you 
Paul, all at once, please. <sighs> it's hopeless with this little carrying capacity. Really? Really? I'm ready to spawn right next to him, are you? That much for you can't even carry 10 units of steel. Now we are carrying 80. Uh, no? You know the radar stress. Maybe you want to take this first. Hmm? Just staying. At least while the raiders are there. Power generator, please. Oh, come on. Only one. At least we get the gun. Ooh, meals. Hmm. You know what? First, you strip him. And then you immediately attack him to death. And we get a solar flare, of course. Now, of all things. So it gets cold. Very cold. Even colder. Mm. Alright, I'm installing the food, please. Really? Please, remember to use your inventory. <sighs> I do mean no power on. Okay, solar fray has ended. The first stuff is getting able to do to go the first foods Cataconic eh? Cataconic. I hate cataconic. Well, I think we are on a good path now, hmm? The first food is re is getting ready to be harvested now. Becoming edible. We got three meals. Well people got at least a little bit of food, I guess. We got some clothing we can use or sell. We got a little bit of a kill box that we need to expand later on. And we got some resources to gather next time. Or already travel, I think. It is at least decently stable. And we might be able to get this into a big water greenhouse next time. Sounds good to me. I think this is a good cutoff point. Since we got the generator finished. Alrighty. Let's call it a day now, okay? Thank you for coming today. Uh, these are my socials, my Twitter, my Twitch channel, as well as Discord server. And please stay around for the raid, okay? Let's see, who shall we raid? Hmm? Who shall we raid? Hmm. Percy is live. Wait, is that training? Hmm. Let me see.
Is this rain? Oh, Ama is alive. Ooh, Ama. Ama, the, the wonderful green dragon. Definitely not a salad dragon or anything. Hmm. What's she doing? Okay, Amalia has an iPad right now and is playing Persona 4. And Rain is doing art right now. So, who of both should be Rain? Underscore. Turn out Amalia underscore Solaris. Did you know that Rainy and Chicky did a new song cover together? And it's a really awesome one. I highly recommend you check it out. <laughs> Rainy might not be on for, on for too much longer, so let's read Amalia, okay? I know right this time zone because we are almost we are basically in almost the same time zone. So yeah, let's go to Arma, okay? Thank you for coming today. Um right, Amalia underscore Solaris. And the right message shall be mm, Randy ended another colony. Right. Something like this. Alrighty. Good night, Oyazu, and sleep well. Bye bye.